நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of our renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In our last video I explained about the effects of Mars in 12 different houses for the native of Gemini ascendant. In this video I am going to explain a very very important topic. Many people have doubts regarding my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. My concept is, in order to find the profession, you have to find out which planet is highly Subhatva in the natal chart. Definitely the native will be inclined towards the profession related to Karaka, signified by the highest Subhatva planet and will choose a profession regarding the same. Here is the doubt that crops up in the minds of my subscribers. There are two teams of planets such as Jupiter team and Venus team. For the Jupiter team, the planets in Venus team will not deliver great benefits. And for the Venus team, the planets that belongs to Jupiter team will not deliver great benefits. And the question now is, how does Subhatva of the planet function for the opposite team ascendance? You would have also noticed that when major planetary period of the planets happen, it will not deliver benefits. Many people find these two concepts much contradictory and gets confused a lot. I have noticed a lot of comments even on YouTube live and I have already explained a lot to those questions. The question is, for the native of a particular team, will the planet that belongs to the opposite team deliver a profession related to its Karaka to the native? For example, for the native of Venus Ascendant, can Jupiter deliver a profession based on its Karaga? And there are even more questions from my subscribers. There are certain people who even do four professions. Or there are few people who does a profession seasonally. For example, they pick a profession for four years and after four years they will pick another profession and it goes on. And you guys want to know how the natal chart of such people will be. How to identify profession of such people? I'm going to explain all these in this general video and not as premium video for which you have to subscribe. I have been researching for a long time the natal charts of different people almost for 30 years. And for 10 years, I have been a professional astrologer. I have seen and examined a lot of natal charts in my profession. Since I'm a professional astrologer, I come across the natal charts of higher officials and the people from all cadres. Though I have been in the field of astrology for 40 years, I dedicated a lot of time for my research that is 30 years. I really agree that the time I dedicate to my research work is really fading every day these days. The brainchild, which are my concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength are out of 40 years of my experience in astrology. I have explained about Sukshma strength in many videos which I suggest you watch. Those who have realized the concepts of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength would have also realized a point that it is valid 100%. But still in regard to prediction, what I have realized personally is a natal will choose a profession based on the planet, Karaka of the planet which is highly Subhatva in his natal chart. 
I have made sure of this point whether it applies in all the natal charts or not. Indeed, I found this concept to be true working perfectly in all the natal charts. There is no discrimination between the team of Jupiter and team of Venus. For example, imagine that there is a natal of Gemini ascendant. And you very well know that for native of Gemini ascendant, whose ascendant lord is Mercury, Mars is a functional malafic. Though Mars is a functional malafic, yet remains as highly subatva in the natal chart of the native of Gemini ascendant. For example, let us say even when Mars is debilitated in Cancer, but it is in conjunction with Venus or Jupiter. What will be the profession of the native then? You can see a chart where you see the native as Gemini ascendant and in second house Jupiter, Venus and debilitated Mars or in conjunction in the house of Cancer. Venus is in its enemical house, Jupiter is exalted and Mars is debilitated. Here in this natal chart, Mars has got the highest subatva in the natal chart. Definitely this will offer professions like infrastructure or construction, medicine to the native. This person is able to earn in the domains related to karaka of Mars such as construction, real estate, etc. Whatever the dasha the native undergoes. He will choose the profession related to Karaka of Mars. In order to find the profession, check only the Subhatva of the planet, gauge the strength of the Subhatva of the planet, and please don't try to and please don't try to factor in for prediction in which house Mars resides. For example, whether the highest Subhatva planet resides in 8th house or 6th house, it does not factor in at all. If you bring the concept of the number of the house or bhava while you are making predictions, it will not work. In the sample chart given on the screen, the native is Gemini ascendant. Mars is the planet that is highly subatva because of the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in the second house. Based on the natal chart of this person, the person will try to work in the field of construction or medicine. I will say the native will work dominantly in the construction field because when Mars resides in the second house, it refers to the construction field. The person will work related to Karaka of Mars, such as construction and building materials related to construction. And this is the profession where the native will gain benefits. The person will earn well in the field of construction or construction related professions. I would like to bring a point here that this concept is not even told in the original dictums. The rule that I share with you to find the profession of a native is the one that you cannot find in any conventional original dictums. There are many concepts that I found from my research over many years. One such as Subhatva of 8th house and 12th house and Subhatva of 7th and 11th houses for government related jobs. This is one of the concepts that I found from my own experience and you will definitely find this to be very much valid in the charts of the people. It doesn't matter at all how many natal charts you predict in your life, the concept of mine will definitely come true in all the natal charts. Test this concept of mine in any natal chart and you will not definitely get disappointed. Can you guess how many natal charts I would have examined to prove this concept, to know that this concept works in all the natal charts? I have researched 10,000 to 20,000 natal charts in order to prove this concept of mine. Having said all these, even when a planet is functional malafic or lord of 8th house, yet when it remains subatva, 
the native will work or choose a profession related to karaka of that subhatwa planet first of all let us discuss what is subhatwa the connection of natural benefits such as jupiter or venus or next level to these two functional malefics such as the waxing moon or full moon and lone mercury if the planet is lord of the 6th house or 8th house the very same planet can deliver the professions to the native now let us come to the point of how the planet will work during its major planetary period or minor planetary period during the major planetary period of the planet which is highly subhatwa it will definitely deliver the house effects for which it is responsible i have already mentioned to my subscribers that i will make a separate video for finding the profession of the person and what will happen during its major planetary period many people get confused about why mars does not deliver the house effects during its major planetary period okay let us see what will happen for this native of gemini ascendant when he undergoes major planetary period of mars mars is a functional malefic for the native of gemini ascendant and it is the lord of the 6th and 11th houses mars will definitely deliver a lot of enemies or diseases or deaths during its dasha to this native can you understand why i say that a person will work or choose a profession based on the karaka of the planet which is highly subhatwa when a planet is highly subhatwa the native will be inclined towards the karaka of the planet the thoughts will be completely based on the karaka of the planet this is how the mind of the person will function subhatwa is the fundamental concept of astrology if the ascendant lord is subhatwa you are a fortunate person you will be filled with good thoughts good motivation etc based on which bhava is highly subhatwa you are going to enjoy the benefits through that bhava what will happen when a thought 12th houses or subhatwa you are going to live abroad and you are going to enjoy benefits through that this is the way you have to make the predictions what happens when the 6th house is subhatwa it will bring enemies deaths diseases and you are going to face those if the 4th house is subhatwa and the significator of the 4th house is also subhatwa then you are going to enjoy a lot of benefits through your mother and there will be a lot of benefits from the maternal side like you are going to reap benefits through the maternal relationships or the properties from the maternal side among the 12 houses you will enjoy the benefits based on which house is subhatwa in your natal chart also you will definitely reap benefits based on which planet is highly subhatwa in your natal chart if the 5th house is highly subhatwa after the child is born you will definitely get a lot of benefits you will definitely get happiness from the children let us say 5th house is aspected by jupiter then the bhava gets subhatwa i hope you understand to a certain extent what is subhatwa of a planet you have to also check the bhava subhatwa when the two great benefics such as jupiter and venus reside in the bhava or when both of them aspect a bhava or when they get connected to that bhava the native will get benefits through that bhava please remember that there are also certain exceptions to this concept for example let me say when a full moon and jupiter reside in a bhava then that bhava will be destroyed because here comes the concept of the highest subhatwa it is like too much of anything is good for nothing or even an excessive amount of goodness can have negative effects you will find a lot of contradictory concepts in astrology 
It is like a train going on the rail that never coincides. It is like how the union of male and female gives birth to a child, which are quite opposite in their energy levels. There are a lot of contradictions in every aspect. This is how the whole universe functions. In order to make a final prediction, you have to definitely understand the concepts and more importantly, you have to understand the concepts which are contradictory to that. This is how you have to understand the true dimension of Jyotish, which is always a combination of two different contradictory concepts. Having said this, when a Baba is extremely Subhatva, it is dangerous. This is what we call Guru Chandra Yoga. For example, when the full moon and Jupiter are in conjunction in a Bhava, definitely the Bhava will be suppressed by these two planets because of its extreme goodness. This is what our Vedic astrology says. So you have to check the Subhatva of the Bhava as well. For example, if the third house is highly Subhatva, you will definitely gain benefits from your younger brother, your courage, your virility, etc. When the ninth house has a lot of benefic connections, then the native will benefit from father, relatives of father, properties of the father, guidance from the father, benefits through father. You will definitely find this to be true in all the natal charts that you predict. When you mix and match the Subhatva of the Bhava and Subhatva of the planet, you can make perfect predictions. After many years of research, I found a golden rule that when a planet is highly Subhatva, it will incline the native to work or to choose the profession related to its karaka. This is a 100% valid golden rule. Well, what will be the next question? Will this profession benefit the native always? This is the question. Will the native make more gains through this profession? In order to know the answer for this, you have to check whether the major planetary periods which are favorable happen in a sequence. For example, for this native of Gemini Ascendant, let us imagine that Mars is highly Subhatva and auspicious major planetary period for this native of Gemini Ascendant or that of Saturn, Mercury and Venus. If this native is enjoying the major planetary period of these planets at the very right age, this native will definitely earn gains through the construction field Karaka of the profession related to Mars such as medicine, construction, which really needs the highest Subhatva in the chart. Since Mars in the second house, which is highly Subhatva, this native will achieve tremendously in the field of construction. If you have come across builders in the construction field, definitely you can see Mars will be highly Subhatva in their natal charts. Even if you have seen thousands of natal charts, this rule will never go in vain. I have a direct client who is a builder in Chennai who has built thousands of buildings in Chennai itself. He invests a huge amount of money in this construction work. I can even once explain his natal chart in the future with his permission. I don't share the natal chart of any important person without their permission and more importantly, you would have noticed I don't bring the point of debilitation or exaltation when it is highly Subhatva. Did you notice? Even in this natal chart, Mars is debilitated. You can very well see that Mars is debilitated in this natal chart, but it is highly Subhatva. Here, Mars gets cancellation of debility, that is Nichabanga, because of the conjunction of exalted Jupiter here. If Jupiter aspects cancer from its own house Pisces, will Mars get Nichabanga? Please don't assume so. Only the conjunction of the exalted planet or own house planet can cancel the debilitation. If Jupiter resides in Pisces, that is 10th house, 
and aspects Mars which is in conjunction with Venus in second house. Then Mars will not get Nichabanga status. Here Jupiter resides in Pisces which is in its own house and it aspects debilitated Mars in the Cancer by its fifth aspect. The highest subatua of a planet could be achieved by the connection of Jupiter and Venus together. When a planet gets connection of two natural benefics, Jupiter and Venus simultaneously, it gets the highest subatua. In addition to this, if a planet is in connection with waxing moon or full moon, it reaches the peak of subatua. So there are different levels of Subhatwa that you have to understand. I really want to write all these as a book but I don't find time to write about all of them. But definitely I'm going to do it as a project. Definitely I will write these articles under the concept of Subhatwa, Pabhatwa and Sukshma strength. Now have a look at the chart that has been displayed now. Jupiter resides in Pisces in its own house. And Mars is debilitated in Cancer and Jupiter aspects from Pisces through fifth aspect. The debilitated Mars in Cancer. Mars is in conjunction with Venus in Cancer. Here there is no Nichibanga of Mars. If only Mars is in conjunction with exalted Jupiter, it gets Nichibanga. The aspect of Jupiter will not cancel the debilitation. However, for this native of Gemini Ascendant, a profession will be set up based on the Karaka of Mars which is under the aspect of Jupiter and which is in conjunction with Venus. You will find that this golden rule applies 100% valid with any number of charts. In this case, the person will choose a profession where fire is involved like even fast food where people do not dedicate much time to dine in a relaxed manner, rather they would prefer taking the food in a hasty manner or not in a relaxed manner. And even this native can make some achievements in the construction field. I would like to share one important point here. In order to achieve this profession, the major planetary period of the functional benefits should come. For the native of Gemini Ascendant, the functional benefits are Saturn, Venus and Mercury. Here Venus got Pabatwa by the connection of Mars. However, it is under the aspect of Jupiter. And imagine that a younger age, let us say around 30 years of age, the major planetary period of Saturn starts. And if Saturn is in good strength and Subatwa in this natal chart, um, let me say Saturn is placed in Virgo, under the aspect of Jupiter, what happened when Saturn resides in Virgo? A malefic planet which is Lord of the ninth house will be in the 8th house from its shrine house that is Aquarius. I have already mentioned some rules when a malefic becomes the Lord of the trine and if it resides in 6th or 8th or 12th house to the trine house, it is considered to be a yoga. Indeed, these are the rules not told based on Bhavat Bhavam. Rather, it comes out as a result of many years of research. The original dictum says that a malefic planet should reside in the quadrant house. If a malefic planet becomes lord of the trine house and when it resides in the eighth house to that particular trine house, it is considered to be a yoga provided it is also residing in the quadrant house. Based on this concept, when Saturn resides in Virgo, which is Lord of the ninth house, and residing in the quadrant house for the Lagna, and in the eighth house to the trine house, it is considered to be beneficial. And let us say Mercury resides in the ascendant house, and the native experiences the Dasha of Saturn around 30 years of age, where Saturn is under the aspect of Jupiter, the native will gain more through the profession not related to Saturn but related to Karaka of Mars which is highly Subhatwa in this natal chart. What is the Karaka of Mars? Fire, construction, medicine etc. Definitely the profession related to Karaka 
will deliver great achievements in his life which is highly subhatva during the major planetary period of the functional benefics the major planetary period of saturn will definitely deliver benefits because it is under the aspect of jupiter and let us come to the next major planetary period which is mercury imagine that mercury is in its own house in the ascendant house in gemini based on the point that ascendant lord resides in the ascendant house itself with great strength it will deliver benefits the number of years of the major planetary period of saturn and mercury sums up to 36 years and let us come to the major planetary period of the next planet which is ketu even if this is not well placed it is going to give mediocre effects just for 7 years and then comes the major planetary period of venus which is under the aspect of jupiter which is subhatva will deliver benefits this is the way you have to predict the professional life of the native despite all these if the native undergoes major planetary period of mars though it is subhatva as per its responsibility of the house it owns definitely it will deliver a lot of setbacks and shortcomings to the native and it will definitely deliver unfavorable results to the native what is the reason because mars is a functional malefic to the native of gemini ascendant and also it is a deadly enemy to the ascendant lord mercury you cannot definitely expect that since mars has got highest subhatva it will deliver benefits through its profession during its major planetary period no it will not happen here mars which is lord of the 6th house resides in the trine house to the scorpio because it is in the second house to the ascendant and mars the lord of 11th house is in the quadrant house to its another house which is aries what effects will a planet which is the functional malefic deliver which is the lord of 6th house and in quadrant house to its another house the 6th house effects will be delivered by mars here definitely mars will deliver such worse effects this is the difference between karaka of the planet and house effects of the planet i really see a lot of questions that have been asked in this regard even in premium videos i see it both in the comments of the youtube videos as well as in my premium videos and even by email some people have requested to explain the difference between karaka of the planet and house effects of the planet and how it will function in a natal chart many people wonder when i say a planet that is highly subhatva will also deliver some setbacks during its major planetary period but this is the subtlety of the astrological concept this is a higher level of understanding of the subtlety of astrological concepts i often reiterate a point that you have to mix and match and make predictions based on three factors one is karaka of the planet the house effects major and minor planetary periods of the planets this is where you can prove your expertise in the field you have to understand which planet will deliver what at which time If you understand this then you can make the finest predictions. If you understand these concepts then you don't even need my suggestions to make your predictions. You will definitely make the best predictions. Astrology is an art that is the composition of very subtle concepts. There are a lot of intricate calculations involved in it. You have to definitely check what a planet will deliver and your mind should do it spontaneously when your mind is capable of making predictions without any hesitation and when your mind works in such a fashion then you can make 
the best predictions what do you have to do for this you have to think about astrology deeply and you have to question every concept in your mind definitely astrology should stay in your subconscious mind and you should contemplate and contemplate deeply about the concepts like why this concept was told why it was told in such a way by the original dictum like, you know you you have to ask a lot of questions in any situation you have to distinguish between the karaka of the planet that to subhatva of karaka of the planet and the house effect of the planet what happens when a planet is extremely subhatva when a planet is extremely subhatva it will deliver the thoughts related to its karaka to the native and it will lead the native to be inclined towards the karaka of the planet though the major planetary period of that particular subhatva planet is not experienced by the native at all in his life if mercury is highly subhatva in one's particular natal chart you will definitely shine in the fields of mathematics computers accountancy etc the native will definitely be a genius in these fields definitely you will choose a profession related to karaka of mercury you will be working in the field related to karaka of mercury such as writing or accounting etc based on the subhatva of the planet and connection of mercury with other planets the profession you choose may vary this is 100% valid even if you are not experiencing the dasha of mercury at all in your life your mind will be inclined towards the karaka of mercury significance of mercury even if you are not experiencing the major planetary period of mercury the profession will be set up based on the karaka of the mercury whatever i explain is 100% valid and you can test this in any any natal chart and you can test this in any natal chart nobody can deny this truth nobody can prove that my concepts are wrong or i am wrong in making prediction based on this point it takes great effort and time to spread the truth definitely after my period even more people will be able to appreciate my concepts you know it is not easy task to reach a huge audience like cinema astrology is an art where people have to learn a lot for years together and they have to make predictions having said this those astrologers who made a milestone in their lives were never accepted by the people who belong to the contemporary period this never happened in history and i'm also aware of it most of the great achievers were recognized by the world only after their demise however communication has grown to a great extent in this world in this era and many people are educated these days and we are getting easily connected with each other jyotish reaches even a common man because of these improvements my concepts will be definitely talked about and after my period my concepts of subhatva pabhatva and sukshma strength will definitely be agreed upon by all the people with no exceptions so this art of astrology will be a cake walk only by a lot of experience of predicting different natal charts those who identify themselves as my students my subscribers you need to understand the level of subhatva pabhatva of the planets in the natal chart as a next step you have to identify that to mix and match the karaka of the planet and the house effects of the planet the planet which is highly subhatva in your natal chart will be your profession and you can even check your own natal chart this rule will definitely apply 100% definitely you will be working in a profession that is related to karaka of the planet which is highly subhatva in your natal chart please try to look at the natal charts of your spouse the neighbor people or the family members where this golden rule will apply 100% correctly 
and the major and minor planetary periods of the planets will decide whether you're gaining benefits based on the subhatva of the karaka of the planets in your life because it is only the major planetary period and minor planetary period that are related to the houses that will decide what will be delivered to the native the major and minor planetary periods of the planets are based on houses and the profession is based on karaka of the planet the lord of 10th house and the lord of 2nd house is all secondary to these concepts it is the next level of prediction imagine the major planetary period of 5th house lord is happening it means that you are going to do your business in a good way if major planetary period of 9th house is going to happen again your business will be good in case major planetary period of 6th house lord is going to happen you are going to face many challenges many complexities in the profession in case the ascendant lord and the 10th house lord are in good strength it means you are going to face the challenges of your profession with great strength with great confidence when the houses are in good status it says that you are going to face the challenges in a good way or with great strength the debts may occur but those debts will be bearable by you you will handle it smart enough to pay off the debts and you will definitely come out of that pressure of debts once the major planetary period of the 6th house lord gets over in case after the major planetary period of the 6th house lord you are going to experience the major planetary period of the 8th house lord then the effects are going to be worse you will definitely have your profession but you are going to do that profession with great hurdles and setbacks this is how you have to understand the karaka of the planet and the house effects of a planet especially what it will do during the major planetary period of the planets This is a video I really intend to publish to help my students who have accepted me as guru in their life. These are the concepts which the astrologers teach in the higher level master sessions. However, since many people keep on asking doubts regarding the profession, I wanted to publish this as a general video that can enlighten the minds of many astrologers. when the major planetary period of the functional benefits happen the benefits will be delivered i have written an article already about 10th house lord and uh, professions delivered by 10th house lord as an article you will find this on my website my app my blog whenever 10th house lord is weak then definitely you will choose a distinct profession for every major planetary period if the 10th house lord is directly weak the profession will be completely different based on different dasha that you experience in your life this is one concept that i realized post research of many charts if 10th house lord is weak you will choose a profession based on the current dasha you are experiencing If the tenth house lord is subhatva, then you will earn well during its major planetary period, provided it is a functional benefit. In case the dasha lord is not subhatva, then the profession will not be good. There are also exceptions in parallel to this concept. Some people ask me why certain people change their profession often. This is the reason why certain people change their profession over the course of a period. If the 10th house lord is residing in 6th house or 8th house or 12th house and the ascendant lord is also weak then the native cannot have a permanent profession at all. Even if the major planetary period of a subhatva planet is happening the native cannot withstand the same profession. profession will vary from dasha to dasha 
the only thing you have to identify is when the karaka of the planet will deliver its effects and dasha will deliver its effects and house effects will be delivered you would not definitely learn these concepts anywhere else i know very well that a basic statement about profession is mentioned in the original dictum but not the way i explain to you now it is not said in any original dictums and nobody else could explain this because it needs certain knowledge in order to teach others first of all in order to realize this if somebody had taught me earlier i could have shared this long time back it is only after many many years of research i found this to be true since i have understood astrology in totally a different dimension i am able to share all these it is all by the grace of almighty based on the article that i have written regarding the 10th house lord and the profession related to the 10th house lord if you observe the natal chart of the people who change their profession every 5 years or 8 years or 10 years or for every dasha and who do not have a permanent profession the 10th house lord will be in the 6th house or 8th house or 12th house or debilitated or pabatwa only in this case the native will choose different professions in different major planetary periods and you will definitely see the ascendant lord also to be weak in the natal chart this is how you have to judge what profession one will carry in their life more the number of natal charts you check the more your experience grows more clearly you will definitely understand all these concepts if you want me to do any video based on a concept that you don't understand or you want to explore please write it in the comment section definitely i will clarify your doubts in another video since many people asked me doubts regarding the profession like in uh, premium video through email through youtube comments i gave explanation how to find profession of a person please try to understand the difference between karaka of the planet and its house effects the golden rule that i taught you today will apply 100% correctly in all the natal charts well the tamil version of this video is available in the description box please find the link and also we have added the playlist link of all the english videos in the description box keep writing your feedback to us to astro.writeus@gmail.com thank you